Hello there, Ola here. In this tutorial I will show you how to create C-trimmed wall decoration using Finaware products. My base is the wooden hamsa. That's because I'm from Israel and uh, in the Middle East tradition this uh, item is supposed to protect your home and uh, to bring you uh, good luck. But you can make uh, the same project just on canvas. I decided to add a few Hebrew words with a nice meaning on the top of this hamsa, uh, but you can use English words, of course. In uh, this uh, project I use cheaper die cut by Polish brand Scrapping It. You can order them directly uh, from their site. You will find the link in the movie description. Again, sorry for my accent. I know sometimes it's horrible, but there is nothing I can do about it. If you have any problem with my voice, just mute the movie. But I still believe that it's better to explain some complicated steps with a strong accent than not explaining them at all. And now, to add some texture, I'm gluing a piece of a lace fabric. Now I'm going to glue all the sea trimmed embellishments on the base bottom. This big starfish I ordered on AliExpress site. I will give you the link. And the other seashells came from the Mediterranean Sea. To glue all these elements I'm using 3D matte gel by Finaber. My 3D matte gel not in the original jar because the original jar was broken.
Now I am removing all excess gel with a wet brush. Because I have some spaces between the elements, I decided to cover them with the Mega Art Stones. Before painting, we have to cover all these elements with a gesso. I think in this case it's easier to do it with a clear gesso. Because it's more fluid than white gesso. And you don't need to be afraid to cover the watch face by mistake. After drying, I begin to color this project. I want to create some kind of ombre effect here, so I start with the lightest blue paint. I apply the paint with a big soft watercolor brush and spread it with a lot of water. And yes, I could do the same with watercolors or mists but this item will be displayed on the wall so I prefer to work with permanent supplies
I decided to make some of the elements more textured like they were for real on the sea bottom to get this look I'm using rust effect pastes I just chose uh, the two darkest colors from all the pastes I just wanted to add a little bit more texture with a stone effect paste. The easiest way to color all this texture now is with alcohol inks. Now I'm going to paint only the letters again with Vintage Patina paint because I want the color be more opaque. And now I begin to highlight all the elements and textures. I love the result but I want to get more shiny look so I decided to add also Sparks Gold Paint I believe you can see the difference even in a video That's it. I hope you liked this tutorial. If you have any questions about the process or materials, you're welcome to ask me in the comments. Link to the supplies list you will find in the movie description. Thank you for watching and see you in the next tutorial. Bye!